Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I'm plastic. I, I'm fantastic. Whoa, wait, what? Th this is the wrong video for that. Oh, there's the right stuff. Transformers, robots in disguise. More than meets the eyes. The Transformers. We got Megatron, Decepticon, Megatron, Decepticon. He's a cool guy. He's a leader of the Decepticons. Megatron, the Decepticon. Then we got Star Scream. He likes to scream, hey. Loud, yay, up in the skies, hey, screaming, yay, at all the stars, yay, he's second in command, hey, of the Decepticons, he's star scream, he's real mean, he's star scream, he's real, real, real mean. Then we have hey sound sound wave sound wave yay sound wave hey he makes all the waves yay he's third in command hey uh, of the Decepticons hey he's the cool scientist genius yay medic too hey and he has cool cassette tapes in, in, in his body that also transform hey transformers. More than meets the eyes, robots in disguise, the Transformers. Then we have, I am Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, hey, he's a prime, yay. He's the number one, hey, uh, of the Autobots, yay. The Autobots fight the evil Decepticons. He's a cool guy, hey, he's a big rig, yay, so he's a hero, not a zero, like all the truckers, yay, that are delivering all the foods and good supplies, yay, to us Americans, hey, Transformers, more than meets the eye, robots in disguise, the Transformers. Then we got... Technical difficulties because the bag's kind of messed up. Anyway, me's a Grimlock. Me like fight. Grimlock fight. Then we got <coughs> then we got Grimlock, the leader of the Dinobots, which are a branch off of the Autobots because the Dinobots they're pretty cool. There's only like five, five of them, six of them, or something like that. It's a shame they don't all combine and form a giant uh, robot like some of the Constructicons and uh, some of the Combiners do and other ones do. Um, it would be cool if they did. And uh, the Dinobots, um, they... D now, Dinobots versus Power Rangers Zords. The Dinobots would kick the Power Ranger Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Anyway, the Dinobots from Transformers would hands down kick the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dino Zords. Yes, they would. <laughs> There's five of them. They have man, in fact, they're they're just about the same. Uh, the Dinobots are just about the same as the Power Rangers. Um, uh, they've got uh, Grimlock. The he's the T Rex. Uh, that's the Red Rangers Zord. Um, they got uh, Spike. Uh, he's a truck. He, uh, they got the petrodactyl. Um, the, the pink ranger is a petrodactyl. They got um, uh, the brachiosaurus. Um, the brachiosaurus. Uh, yeah. Uh, they got the. Uh, they got the triceratops. Billy the blue ranger is a triceratops. Uh, they got uh, the uh, stegosaurus. The only two that are different is that they have a stegosaurus instead of a saber-toothed tiger and a um, 
take a source instead of stay or two take and a a uh, brachiosaurus or a dilapidosis instead of a uh, um mammoth yeah so uh yeah they got five but they don't combine a lot of the series that have like five or more groups that are like the stunicons the combinic the combinicons no i guess they're called they're called combiners uh, the stunicons the aerial bots i think um the insecticons don't do it hmm. but uh the stunicons do it and the um the constructicons do it and um the uh uh, I'm not sure what the group that's all military vehicles, but they do it too. They and they combine. Um, they're combiners and they're cool. Uh, combiners are cool. They're kind of like uh, uh, Super Sentai Power Ranger things because they used to combine. They had like five or more Transformer robots and they merged like the Zords and Power Rangers do. Uh, so that's cool. Anyway, we also have Bumblebee! Classic Bumblebee. Slug bug, no slug back. Bumblebee. Bumblebee, he's cool. Bumblebee. Sting. Uh, flies. The stings like a bee. A bumblebee. Bumblebee does. Um, he doesn't talk much. Um, he had his own standalone movie, which is awesome. Um, He's probably every. He's probably due to his popularity. I don't know if he was as popular back in the olden days, but in like '80s, which these are the style. These are '80s style figures, I think. Well, at least the artwork on the covers of the bags, boxes, whatever are '80s style figures. '80s, '80s kids. So, um, are the kids buying these? Or are the adults buying these? Or are the adults buying two sets? One for themselves and one for their kids? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! That's what's happening. Anyway, um... So we got Bumblebee. You know, Bumblebee, he's cool. Now, to make little figures like this... They're either gonna be in robot form... Or they're gonna be... In vehicle form. Honestly, to make the figures like this in vehicle form would be stupid. So they're probably all going to be in robot form. Which I do not have a problem with them being in robot form. I would actually prefer them to be in robot form. Matter of fact, I would prefer them to have two figures in there. One in robot form and one in vehicle form. But they're not going to do that. And these were at Dollar Tree. Even when they were, before they got to Dollar Tree, they were probably like $5 a piece or something. $3 a piece. $1.99, maybe. Uh, somewhere. I don't know where. But anyway, they were probably close to that. Uh, it, it, that I, I will admit Hasbro makes this, and Hasbro's cool, and the Transformers and the Power Rangers can exist now together in the same universe with G.I. Joe and all kinds of other cool 80s cartoons and live action figures because Hasbro bought Power Rangers, so it's now part of the Hasbro family. But I, I, I'm just uh, going to show you, going to show you that, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say that, um, they're not going to spend the money to give you two little plastic figures in a bag. I, I do I do like in this case that they didn't make them blind bags. I hope they're not blind bags. I hope they didn't just randomly place an, one of these six images on there and then not put that figure in that bag. Because that would suck. We'll find out in a little bit. But... <laughs> I hope they actually have that particular figure in each bag. Because if they don't, they, they would suck. Yes, it would It would suck. Suck, seriously. Suck balls. Suck. It would suck. Ass. It would suck. <coughs> Excuse me. It would suck ass to do that. It would be a serious, terrible... 
terrible, but awesome marketing ploy, but still terrible idea. <laughs> they better have the figure they say that's on there. If I wanted black blind, blah, if I wanted black blind, blah, 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 blah. if I wanted blind bags, I would prefer you to show me all six that I can collect on the back, and then have like a random transformer or like um image on the front that has like a battle of some autobots on one side and some decepticons on the other side fighting you know what i'm saying 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 you know more what i'm saying anyway without further ado let's take a look at each and every one of them first up we have megatron like I said, he is a, he came out of the Megatron bag. He looks good. I mean, for a Dollar Tree item, he did, for a dollar item, he looks decent. You could use him in, um, like, games that have Transformers in them. Like, I have Transformers Risk. This would work as a great leader piece for, like, affection. So, he's a good, good figure. I like him. He's a good figure. So, uh, also comes with this card, which has Optimus Prime on it. And on the back has the different figures, which are Grimlock, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Soundwave, and Starscream. These cards would have been cooler if... they have probably all going to be standard, look just like this one. And I think they would be a lot cooler if every one of these cards were more like a trading card. Didn't tell you the ones that... I like... I kind of like that they tell you the ones you can collect. But I think they would be cooler if they were more like... On the front, of course, they had the figure that came with in the package. Like in this case, it would be Megatron. And... um it had like little stats down here. Like they do when you buy the toys. The action figures. They usually have like a little trading card. Or it's on the back. Anyway. That's just what I think about the card. Let's take a look at another one. Next up we have Starscream. I'm Starscream. So we got Starscream. Actually a good sculpt. I mean he's a good figure decent actually had the right figure in the right bag so that's a plus so there's the first and second in command of uh the, uh, the autobots yeah those are the first and second in command of the autobots i mean the Decepticons. also look look the paper the cardboard the paper is crap that has the little what to collect thing it's it's crap so crap um so uh they could have did a little better with the paper with the paper so they had some uh that's Oxus prime and Bobby, i mean uh megatron and starscream the leaders of the decepticons let's uh check out another one so now we have sound wave sound wave looks good i mean they're ch I mean, they're not, like, super the best. They don't have any articulation. They're just posable standing ease. But they would work great for, like, a board game as, like, a representative piece or a leader piece for, like, risk games or war-type games. Could add, like, these figures into, these Transformer figures into some other, like, games that have figures of this size or whatever. Like, maybe you could add them into, like, Robotech type game or some other role playing type game or whatever anyway that's them they're pretty cool they're awesome they're uh i like them i mean honestly i like them i don't see much of a complaint with them i mean they're cheap they're not supposed to be made like really good but for what how they are made they are made pretty damn good. I've seen other stuff that's made cheaper and costs more than this. So that's the Decepticons. 
Next up is the Autobots. So, coming up, fixing to have some Autobots. First up with the Autobots is their leader, Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. Freedom for all sentient life forms. So you're a libertarian, Optimus Prime? Well, sort of, because I don't really like the Decepticons. But they start the fight war, right, and you're just trying to protect humanity. Yes, humanity first. Are you sure? You are an alien race that is just disguising itself as vehicles. Uh, no comment. Anyway, there you go. Optimus Prime for you. <laughs> Optimus Prime, he looks good. I mean, he lo looks good. These do look like the 80s figures. They do have that vintage retro feel. So, time for another one. Yep. It's going to be everybody's favorite. Bumblebee. All right, we got everybody, we got Bumblebee. Now, honestly, this Bumblebee does not look like the 80s to me. This one looks like Transformers the Animated Series, like early 90s Bumblebee. Like 90s show Bumblebee. But he, if he looks like um, the 80s one to y'all, comment down below, because... He does look like this is the one from the 80s, but he also kind of looks like the Transformer the Animated Series one. So, uh, I'm going to let y'all, uh, from the 90s, I'm going to let y'all decide which one looks which. So these are the two main leaders of the Decepticons. I mean, the Autobots. Uh, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. I mean, Megatron and Starship. I mean, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. So Optimus Prime, Bumblebee. We got one last one. Misa Grimlock. Yeah, Grimlock. You ready to get opened up and fight? Yeah, open pad, Grimlock fight. Okay. Okay, Grimlock. You ready? Open pad, Grimlock fight. Okay. Open pad, Grimlock wanna fight. I better open this bag soon because Grimlock gonna bust out if I don't. There, Grimlock, are you happy now? Oh, Grimlock fight! Me's a fight! We're a fight! I wanna fight! Grimlock fight! So we got Grimlock here who's ready to get his fight known. He wanna kick some ass, hey. Now, if they didn't have this, this, all, this Decepticon logo, you could use this as a Trypticon. He's not much different between... Uh, I mean, there's not much difference. I mean, if you wanted to use a piece for a Trypticon, you'd have to get rid of this Decepticon logo and put an Autobot logo. I mean, have to get rid of this Autobot logo and put a Decepticon logo on. But uh, there's Grimlock, ready to fight, ready to rumble. Ain't that right, Grimlock? Me the Grimlock, me ready to fight. Grimlock, fight. Where fight at? Grimlock wanna fight. So, uh. <coughs> There's uh, the Autobots. I mean, Decepticon. I mean, the Autobots. I mean, the Autobots. I mean, the Decepticon Autobots. The Decepticon Autobots. Yeah. There's the Decepticon Autobots, and there's the Auto Cons. I mean, uh, the Decepticons. I mean, Autobots. I mean, Decepticon Auto Auto Cons and Decepticons. Yeah. Yeah. The Auto Cons. Auto Cons versus the evil Decepticons. I mean, uh, the Autobots versus the evil Decepticons. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's let's uh, let's get them lined up, ready to fight. That's what you've been waiting for, right, Grandma? Ooh, fight! Where's the fight? Ooh, fight! We will win for all sentient life forms. Um, uh, we're gonna do this fighting uh, again. Okay, <laughs> y'all ready? We will defeat them Autobots once and for all. Yeah, we will defeat them once and for all. Autobots will be defeated with my new invention. All right. 
They're ready to fight. Ready to rumble. What do you say, Megatron? I'll take on Optimus Prime! Oops! Starscream will attack Bumblebee! Grimlock fight! This is not fun. Stop smashing me. Me no name you. Me beat you up. Grimlock fight! Star. I am Soundwave. Shoots cassette set him. What are these? Or I beat him up. Mmm, that one tastes good. Attack! Die, Optimus Prime! Never! I am a Prime! I will defeat you! Never! Get back here, you no good for nothing, Star Scream! No! Ha <laughs> I fooled you! <laughs> and a battle rages on! And a battle rages on! This means war! Both sides are raging war! The victory is never secure! Cause the war will never end! Because if it does, we can't make another episode! Yep. That's why they'll never stop fighting with the Transformers. The evil Autobots versus the good Decepticons. I mean, wait. That's not right. It's the... Evil Decepticons versus the good Autobots. Comment down below. Comment down below. Comment down below. Comment down below. Your favorite one of these Transformers out of the whole shebling. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share it everywhere. And remember, guys and girls, that God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Like, comment, subscribe, and share it everywhere. Share it everywhere. Keep on gaming, and keep on collecting, and comment down below your favorite Transformer. From this series of figures, your favorite Transformer of all time, your favorite Transformer series of all time, and a uh, Transform on! Transformers, more than meets the eyes, robots in disguise, the Transformers. The good Autobots versus the evil Decepticons. The evil Decepticons versus the good Autobots. The evil Autobots versus the good Decepticons. Um, the good Decepticons versus the evil Autobots. Now, wait, which one? I keep, I'm i getting them confused. Which one are good guys and which one are bad guys? Comment down below. Uh, we got the Autobots and the Decepticons. Which one? I can't, I can't remember. I can't keep up with them. They're always fighting, so I don't know if he... And since they're always fighting each other and causing lots of damage and stuff, is really one side any better than the other side? I mean, one just wants to conquer all of Earth and stuff and take all the Energon cubes, and the other one kind of want to stop them from doing that. But they don't really, like... They don't really, like, you know... the. Now, in the movies, the the Transformer movies, the Autobots kind of hanged out with the, like, G.I. Joe Army soldier guys. But, really, in the TV series, they didn't really hang out with the military. So, it's like they were doing their own thing. So, they were probably doing just as much damage and just as much destruction. And they didn't go, oh, we'll pay for it. Or nothing like that. 
when doing these battles. So they're doing just as much problems by fighting the Decepticons as anybody else would. So if I was the United States government and the military, I'd go after both sides because they're, they're just causing problems. They end up wait and stuff. But you never see them doing that. I mean, it's like the government or military is like just sitting back like, um, um... Um, we're just going to let them fight and maybe, maybe they'll kill each other and we won't have to worry about it no more. Because, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, no. Yeah, mm, no. So check out your local Dollar Tree and see if they have these. Hey, you'll love them. They're great. They're awesome. Anyway, have a great day. Later.